Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to our brand new King of Frostmare video. Today we got the scariest videos ever captured in haunted houses. Um, we're just gonna straight into this, man. I know I usually go on like a tantrum. I think that's not even a word. Well, did I even use that right? Hold on real quick. I gotta mute my Discord. Let me just, there we go. Okay, we got it. But, uh, yeah, man, we're just going to jump straight into this. Like, the Carolina Panthers play in, like, 40 minutes. So I'm just going to knock this reaction out the way real quick. And then after the game, we'll do, like, the third video. And then, you know, tonight, you'll see the three videos. Um. Anyway, guys, y'all boys and girls ready? I'm ready. Got nothing else to say, man. So let's just hop into this. Let's get it. The girl in the following video was said to be practicing for her dance lessons, which she recorded regularly. After moving into their new home, they always felt like they were being watched. This was the first time that she actually captured something strange on camera. Yeah, she was... Some are sure that we can see a translucent shadow figure here. Could that be so? Perhaps the new home is haunted after all. And now a big thank you to our today's video sponsor, Monster Legends. Monster Legends? Monster Legends. I'm not playing Monster Legends. Now, and to secure the amazing Walking Dead monsters. Now, we are taking a look at the paranormal <laughs> oh, investigation conducted by the Foreman brothers. They were contacted by a family from Bloomingham, Indiana, that supposedly is experiencing a pretty terrifying and violent haunting in their home. Apparently, they have seen the apparition of a hooded man standing in their bedroom, as well as the spirit of a little girl. <laughs> Loud bangs and weird voices can be heard in the midst of night when everybody is trying to sleep. One night, the gas stove in the kitchen turned on, and the family states, thankfully, nobody got hurt. Weirdly enough, Ron, the owner of the house, believes that the spirit of his deceased brother might potentially still be roaming the house and might be responsible for a lot of the mischievous activity. He keeps his remains on top of a dresser. The man's wife and daughter, however, believe that it might be something way more sinister than just Ron's brother. But that was just a picture of a campfire and I'll show you. That's what they found, which looks just like my grandpa that I never met, but let me show you these other other ones that they have. I have all kinds of, but anyways, that was him in three different time frames. And how long was he passed before this picture was taken? This was about three years ago, so several That's years. The Foreman brothers set up their that equipment does look similar. and begin their investigation the following night. That's crazy. Can you talk? We can see you. We want you to talk to us. That one looks bigger. Mm -hmm. After receiving several responses via EVP and capturing the stick figure in several other rooms, the team decides that now is the best time to cleanse the family home from any negative spirits and help whatever remains in there into the light. What's most interesting, however, is something rather creepy that was captured in the background when the team was interviewing the mother, Virginia. I can't actually remember that date, but I, we moved out here when I was in the fifth grade and I heard my mom holler for me. So we went back to 
my house to see what mom wanted, and she says she didn't holler for me. We hear it looked like a shadow went straight through that room over there. We see the dark outlined figure of a man um, around here, mostly in mom's room, but mm -hmm. we've seen him walking around. No. Room. But I know that it wouldn't be a child spirit, that it was probably a doppelganger. With only four of us inside the house during this encounter, I have no explanation for this entity passing through the doorway. Could this be a glimpse of the spirit that was terrorizing this home? It certainly was no living person at the time, that's for sure. There's a lot of amazing investigations on the Foreman Brothers channel. Make sure to give them a visit. Watch at home. So if you followed me from the beginning, back when I lived in the house, you would remember that I've been followed by a man in a top hat. You could totally see a face in here, I swear, looking at me. Um, but ignore all the stuff in the hallway I just moved in yesterday, so it's been a hot mess unpacking. The next series of videos were shared by I'm Into You. The young woman states that she moved into an old house, and her bedroom in particular seems to feel a little bit off, based on her own statements, that is. Inexplicable noises, weird smells, and things that can be seen at night that are just frightening. After a few weeks living that nightmare, she has moved into a camper next door, because she just couldn't sleep in the house anymore. At that time, she was asking for help from some paranormal experts. Is there somebody here? You guys heard that, right? Hello, is there somebody here? Hello? Can you make a noise? So this is the one with the man. I don't know if you can see right there is his top hat. Um, you can see like his collar. Uh, it's super scary to me. For me, there's no denying that anything. there is a man sitting there watching me in bed wearing a top hat with giant ears, and it looks scary. And last one, this is a screenshot taken in my bedroom. I see the man with the hat staring directly into the camera at me. She certainly believes that Where? a man in a top hat is haunting her house and likes to stalk her in her bedroom, unsettling. Her commenters believe that something paranormal is going on here. And when looking a bit closer into the matter, Indy states that even before moving into this new house, she had quite a few strange paranormal experiences during her entire life. It all started when she was a little kid. Okay, I'm going to compile all the photos that I think of, I have of this same woman from my childhood photo. This is a screenshot from one of my orb videos and then the lighting was enhanced. Uh, looks like a girl with her arm on the table watching me in my bed. Let's I definitely that. noticed the strands of hair across her forehead. And sorry, this is so grainy, but this is the first picture just really zoomed in of a printed out photo of me as a child. But I see the black hair across her face, always looking through that hair. Now, while all of these captures could be explained off as something else, of course, what followed in the next idea? few days got more and more skeptics to believe that maybe there actually was a chance that Indy was being watched by something from one of my lives like two days ago um during the live so many people kept saying that there were faces in the window behind me but i honestly thought that people were just trying to scare me until i received this screenshot today and let me zoom in a little bit for you and you'll see what i'm talking about yeah that's i can clearly see a face peeking over the ledge I think it's time for you to move Before out. Before going live on her profile that night, she also noticed something strange appearing straight across from her room. Some say it looks like a face. And after doing her live stream that night, her viewers saw something behind her that many believe to be an actual shadow figure.
Is that what we are seeing here? Something negative that had attached itself to her. A pretty creepy thought, to be honest. What remains? Next is one of the most terrifying cases that had been documented in the past few years. These are the recordings of Veronica Shannon, a single mother that was living in a pretty haunted ap- Veronica has to be. I don't know about you guys, but Veronica, like just the name Veronica is just a creepy ass name. Like who would name their child Veronica? If your name is Veronica, I apologize. You're probably a lovely person, but I don't know. I just, when I think of Veronica, I just think of like creepy demon child. Apartment. She described this incident as pretty strange and thought at first that somebody was playing a prank on her, which is why she decided to get video cameras in her apartment. She ended up seeing some very strange things in the recorded footage. A skeptic at first, Veronica moved a few months after seeing all these strange things at her place. One night, a friend was just about to walk into her apartment where nobody was in the living room at the time. However, something was captured. People asked her if that could have possibly been the spirit of a former owner, perhaps. Of course, Veronica had no idea. She didn't believe this to be. Bro, well, that is scary. Bro, I've seen a. That has to be probably one of. Like, I've seen a lot of paranormal clips, but that has to be up there with one of the scariest. Be the spirit of. Bro, like, dead ass. I thought that was a, like a legitimate person. But then I seen, they said, that's not a person opening the door. I was like, what? Why is her head? Her owner, perhaps. People asked her. Let this. Let, let's run it back. Bro. People asked her Yo. if that could have possibly been the spirit of a former owner, perhaps. Of course, Veronica oh. had no idea. She didn't believe this to be the spirit of a deceased relative, oh. though. It's still there. Oh shit! Okay, well, we'll find out after this ad. Bro, you can, bro. How is this? Certainly does look like the spirit of an elderly lady, wouldn't you say? How is that, bro? Like, if this is real, if this clip is real, holy. Mock -em <laughs> This has to be one of the clearest clips I've ever seen. Not like clear as in like quality rise, but like I I don't know if it's real or not. Like part of me wants to think it's fake because if this is real, then oh my gosh. That's crazy. Unfortunately, things got a bit more scary shortly but, after. Like, it looks so realistic. Like, it literally looks like an actual legitimate person. Just with, like, smoke around them. Yes. When the door to the kid's bedroom seemed to lock up on its own. Oh. Just the what happened to you if something bad happened. I'm not even moving it. You finally moved. Just door stop. Get out of here. It took three grown adults to break that door down that night. I mean, who can blame the young woman to wanting to leave this place? Oh wait, that's sideways. <laughs> yeah. The camera the camera's just sideways. For a minute there I thought the crib was like got knocked over. I was like 
Shortly after this recording, Veronica finally found herself a new home for her family. Boy, is that baby butt ass naked? Does that baby not have clothes? The following was a submission, and the message reads that this was captured by a girl who also was supposedly living in a haunted apartment. She heard a lot of unsettling noises, and one night saw the following standing in front of her bed. It does look like a creepy person was standing there, but what exactly it was is really hard to say. Some believe it to be an old man, but who can say for sure? What is your opinion? The following is another pretty unsettling video, captured by a young couple from Michigan. They also seem to have gotten a visit from something really creepy. One night, they saw something frightening appear right in front of their little daughter's crib, and they were sure that it was nothing positive. It scares us that it could do something else. I mean, there was even an, a morning that I woke up and I had felt like something was around my, like someone's hands were around my neck. That baby something. something clearly was walking in front of the crib that night, scaring the young family. They stated that the most important thing for them was to get rid of whatever was creeping out their little daughter. I wonder if they were able to. This video was recorded by two friends who were visiting a pretty notorious house. This case was all over the news at the time. A young woman was found that unfortunately had lost her life there. She was kept in the basement by the owner. Horrifying things went down there at the time. And now this house stands abandoned. Keep that in mind. However, somehow it seemed that something still remained there. This is a Look at the right side window. Is something moving the curtains, perhaps? It almost looks like it. No matter. Uh, oh, this looking at these college football mascots just makes me sad. If you know, you know. What was the basement like? Where we... And let's look at the window again one more time. It almost appears as if something is standing on the other side of it for a second. How mysterious. Or was it just a reflection from the outside? This is the basement where the little girls torture. Dude, come here. As you can see, this is what the basement looked like. That's I can't see anything. Oh, hell no. This picture is serious, too. Dude, I ain't fucking. There's a picture of the stairs. Dude, I ain't fucking. I'm not fucking. Could it be that the girl's spirit could still be stuck to this house? Some people believe that this is the case, unfortunately. But let's hope that it's not true. The following was found in the paranormal Reddit section, uploaded by Hen Brolo. The user tells us. This stems from my friend's home and they have a security camera in their living room. No one was home at that time. They always felt that something was in there, even before he moved in. 
Something that tampered with the furniture, especially at night. Let's take a look at the door. Something is seemingly touching the door on the bottom and slowly closing it. But how is that possible, especially since nobody was home? Some commenters think that it looks like a super thin arm is closing the door. Could that be so? Does this mean that something otherworldly was responsible for this? I mean, it does not look like a human arm, does it? And guys, don't miss the opportunity to download yep. Monster Legends to... Well, that's going to do it for today's video. Um, the Panther Games Con is on in like 20 minutes. So, you know, I'm just going to, you know, I'm not going to make this too long. So, you know, if you like this video, hit that like button as hard as you possibly can. Uh, while you're down there, subscribe. God, I just lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah. I forgot my outro for a minute. The link to the uh, original will be in the description below along with my socials. I got Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Be free to DM me anything you want me to react to, and I will try my best to get to it. But, as always, I'm going to record the third video after the game, so rather I'm going to be really happy or I'm going to be depressed. I don't know. We're three and eight. So if we lose, I mean, we should win this game, but if we lose, I want to be surprised. I want it. I mean, I kind of, like, we should win this game, but like I said, if we lose, it is what it is. I'm just kind of expecting it at this point. But anyway, guys, I will see you in another reaction video. Take care.